The cornfield here at the ranch is really growing. It's a solid V9, almost going into V10 on growth. And so we had on 80 units of nitrogen at the planter at planting time. And I really like that because it gives us a chance to get a lot of other things done on the farm when it comes to spraying and that. But at this time, once we get the V9, V10, I want to start to get some additional in on. The beauty with the 360 rain is we can add and incorporate nitrogen ammonia sulfate happens to be in this tank here today. Of course, you can see our nitrogen pump that's running in the back. So I'm adding about 40 units of nitrogen with, with sulfur on this particular pass with the rain unit. The beauty is as it's putting it at the base of the plant, that nitrogen is mixed in right in with the well water. And so we're getting it right into the root system. So the rate that I'm using here on this little pump is about 14 gallon to the acre. So we have enough in the tank here to do the whole field on this pass. I like to get this nitrogen on right starting at V10, this V9, V10, because we know that the corn plant takes 75% of its total nitrogen needs from V10 on. So as we start to go into pollination and silking and then start to develop the ear, we need that meat and potatoes on there to make sure that we're going to have a really good yield potential. So on the actual rain unit, I've upped it just a bit. Last first pass across, we were at three tenths. I got it at 3,500. So I like, that's kind of the sweet spot for me. And every, every farmer has their own desires. The slopes that we have in here, the 3,500 to four tenths is just about right. Sure, I could put on more than that, but then the water starts to run and I just like to see that we get as most efficient as we can. In all reality, as long as this well pump's running 100% of the time and that machine is going back and forth, it's kind of irrelevant where we got it set. We're maximizing the water onto this field to maximize yield.